space weather this week calms down compared to that big G4 level solar storm we had last week, but it looks like the quiet respite is over. As we take a look at our Earth facing disk, we do have a small coronal hole that's going to be rotating into the Earth strike zone here over the next couple days, and it's going to give us a bit of fast solar wind. Nothing like that massive coronal hole we had, but that's not the big story. The big story is that we've been watching region 3256 down in the south, and as of about the 28th, we started watching the activity level grow a bit. And sure enough, on the 29th, wham, right there. That was a big X1 class flare. This also launched a solar storm. It looks like it's going to go west of Earth. But nonetheless, it made, we, means we do have an, a big flare player on Earth's disk again. And we, later in the day, wham, right there, it fires an M class flare as well. So radio blackouts are back on the menu at least over the next couple days until this region rotates completely out of view, and then we might get a little bit of radio quiet until region 3262 rotates over that same place, and then it might start getting active. So we may have some intermittent radio blackouts over the next few days, and things then will quiet down after that because it doesn't look like there's all that much on the Earth-facing disk in terms of other big flare players. However, as we take a look at the far side, this is the stereo A's view, and we're looking at the sun just a tiny bit from the side. If you look and you can see that big coronal hole about mid-disc, that should get you kind of oriented. That's the one that's going to be rotating in the Earth strike zone here over the next couple days. But you look past it and look at the East Lemon Stereo's view. Well, you're seeing a few bright regions here and there. It's looking kind of, I don't know, a little bit uh, stochastic. Not a lot going on. It doesn't seem like there's any big solar flares or any big players like that or solar storm producers. But what it does show is that we will still have some bright regions rotating into view. This means that that solar flux will stay up and radio propagation will stay in the good range on Earth's day side. So as soon as we get rid of the big flare players, it looks like things might actually quiet back down a little bit and radio propagation will be good pretty much everywhere all over the globe. For more details on this week's space weather, including how those radio blackouts might affect you, come check out my channel or see me at spaceweatherwoman.com.